Stand by. The vacuum tubes are warming up. This is a special live broadcast. Right here on Georgia Radio. 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 Well, I got a special announcement today. John Barry, Grammy Award winner, is joining me right now from his home up there in Nashville. John, how you doing today? I'm doing spectacular. How are you? I'm I'm looking at it. I just paid off the tractor, and now I'm looking at <laughs> something else to uh, mow the pasture. I'm told. <laughs> I'm told the Mrs. wants it low cut this summer so we can replant some kind of native Georgia grass and get rid of the fescue. Doesn't that sound like fun? So that's that's been my day. You you have got your work cut out for you, sir. <laughs> you, have you ever had to plug a pasture? It is no fun. I'm I'm not looking no. forward to this, but. Anyway. One of my favorite things in all the world to do, though, is to get on a tractor and bush hog. I mow a I love- lot of rocks. I am good yeah. at that. Yeah. <laughs> my neighbor, who you know, who's lived here his whole life, and uh, we bought his grandfather's house, and uh, he just stands there and shakes his head. And when we first moved in here, I got hung up in a fence, an uh-huh. old fence that I didn't know was there. And he walks over and he says, uh, "You need some help?" And I said, "Well, no, I don't think so." I said, I, I, "I'm going to." Just take it back here in a minute. And he goes, okay. He doesn't say anything. So I go to try and leave. And then I realize that I'm hung up in the fence. <laughs> you know, I said, yeah, I'm going to need some, I'm going to need some help. But these, you know, these are the kind of stories that come from experience. You're celebrating your 30th anniversary out there on the road with uh, your love amazes me. And, uh, and you and Mo Bandy, who's never been on, I am so excited that we're going to actually get to hear from your buddy, Mo Bandy here in a little while. It's yeah, man. 45th of just, just good old boys. And you guys are you're you're playing together a little bit. I understand. Yeah, we, we've done a few shows here and there. We're, we're doing a uh, an event here coming up in Nashville, and uh, we're going to be on together. So that's kind of fun. Country for a cause, which you're talking about yeah. June the fifth. Of course, uh, benefits uh, the Children's Hospital up there. But uh, Gus Arendelle, a local Georgia guy uh, with Springer Mountain Farms chicken, the best chicken I think. It's the only chicken we buy in this house. Uh, he he's a big sponsor of this too, so that's that's great Gus, stuff. Gus has just been a champion to country music, yeah, well, and, and supported so many different programs, supporting country music and supporting country artists and different things like that. And uh, I, 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 we need to we need to have Springer Mountain Chicken Fest. Yeah, we sure do, man. I, Georgia Radio would love to be involved in that. Come you know, on, we're we're too small though for something that big. You know, we're just yeah. we're just down here in. Little old rural Georgia swinging for the fences with guys like yourself. I Come wanted to, I wanted to ask you this because this was a question that came in from the last time. If you have a, and, and this is this is from a lady by the name of Lisa who I believe is an aspiring songwriter. She wants to know if you have a favorite song of your own, not because it did well, but just because you felt like it was your best writing. And that's that's a really that's a really insightful question, Lisa, because. Sometimes the favorite is not the one you would think. What What's yours, John? Well, my favorite song that I've had a hand in writing um, would have to be The Richest Man. Mm. Um, it's a song, I, I put it on an EP that came out in 2019. It's never been released as a single, but we're going to rem- remedy to that uh, <laughs> in about a week. Okay. Um, but it's called The Richest Man, and it's about my dad. And my, my dad, um, matter of fact, when you see the song come in, this, you'll see this little slogan. It says, my dad was not a wealthy man, but he was the richest man I ever knew. And that's the, that's the premise of this song. My, my dad was a construction worker, but my dad, uh, he worked really hard to take care of us, me and my brother and my sister. And I, he loved my mama. I grew up in a home where I knew my mom and dad loved each other. And they loved us kids. And my dad loved people. He loved, you know, this is one of the most important things in the world, uh, those that we, he shared a home with and the importance of uh, the neighbors next door and friends down the street and cousins in the next town. Those were important things to him. And, uh, but the most important thing was my dad's faith. And, and he loved to share his faith with us kids and, and, and with my mom. And, and every night at dinner, he would read a chapter out of the Bible and it was just, that's just his way of doing it. It's just what five days a week, Monday through Friday, we got a chapter of uh, typically it was out of Proverbs. My dad loved the book of Proverbs and uh, we didn't always understand it, but it was just his way of pouring into us, you know? 
And uh, but that song I wrote it with Liz Hingber and Mark and 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 uh, um, the what's the boy's name Robinson from Lost in Space. You got me into this the last time you were on here, John. We couldn't think of the lead. In, uh, oh, he, in, he, he, <laughs> anyway, anyway, I'll think, think of it later. And I'll yeah, call you. Yeah, no but, way. But, but I wrote this song with with the two of them, and, and it's just a story about my dad that just poured out on the table, and we got finished writing it, and 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 one the gentleman we wrote the song with, he's with us, he said, "Well, I wish we'd written that one." And Liz said, "What do you mean you wish we'd written it?" He said, "We didn't write that song. Mm. We were gifted that one." Amen. And uh, it's it's a we're we're actually releasing it on CDX. It'll be coming out uh, uh, the month of May. Uh, for, you know, leading up to Father's Day, so we're excited about that, and just share a song with us. It is a special piece of music, and and uh, makes you know because to me, the older I get, and the more I think about my dad and how money was just not wasn't that big. As it, we never had any, and just wasn't a, he didn't focus his whole life on on money. It was all about people and caring and loving for people. So, but he did so much for you, and I, I'm just thinking about that as a dad myself sitting down for dinner. We do sit down for dinner, but we, you know, we don't read the Bible five nights a week. And to hear you say that he, he would read five nights a week is that is incredible. I mean, that is uh, that is the steadfastness of fatherhood, and yeah. and really what it's all about. Oh, well, that's a great story. Well, I'm glad I'm glad Lisa wrote in and asked that question. Where uh-huh. have you been playing a lot? Because I, I see you on social media. You're all over the place playing, uh, and it looked like you've been having a, a lot of fun out on the road with, uh, yeah. with some great I'm- artists. Uh, is there is you want to can you spill the beans just a little bit? Is do you have a couple of favorites that you like to get together with and play on the road with? Well, you know, I, I, I it, it's so sporadic. You just never. Sometimes people book book me on a show and I don't know who's going to be there to sort of show up. You know, yeah. And there's you know, there's Billy Dean. Hey, you know, and uh, uh, and but but I do. There's just some of the guys I do. Uh, Wade Hayes. I love Wade Hayes. And. Uh, um, of course, Billy Dean and I have been friends a long time. Uh, T. Graham Brown. Oh, yeah. I'm hoping that T. I'm hoping I'd like for me and Tony to go do some shows together. Yeah, T. T. Graham. That's his first name. Tony. Yeah, I call Tony. him. Tony. But uh, I'd love to go do some shows with him. And and uh, man, he's such a soulful singer. The guy just kills me. And and I'm so proud of him. He just gotten he just got inducted into the country into the Grand Ole Opry. And, uh, and you know that shocked me because I really thought he was already a member. Yeah, and this coming uh, this coming uh, Friday night, they're having a, uh, an event at the Opera, so I'm, I'm going to go to that. I wouldn't miss it. Oh, that's so fantastic. I get, get to go and just go be and go be proud for my friends. So. Well, he is a great Georgia boy, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I'd I love mean, to go. See, I'd love to go do some shows with him. Go do go do that Georgia Red Clay tour. So <laughs> yeah, well, we need to have that down here because uh, you know I saw him. I, I know this is about you today, but I saw him play. He came down and when I was cutting my teeth in in the early days of radio. I I had a call and request show from a honky tonk down in Texas. Now, can you believe that? Come Talk on, of, I, I mean, it was the greatest thing they ever came up with. But anyhow, he came and played our place one time, and I don't think I've ever. I we we had a we had Teresa the Love Goddess. You know, she was a professional lady that sat down there. She was cake decorator <laughs> by day and professional heartbreaker at night. She sat right on the edge of the stage. I've never seen this woman cry. She's seen everybody. Everybody play, <laughs> boy. When he sang "Turn the Wine Back into Water," I she sat there. She had to leave. She got wow. so emotional. But that's that is the soulful power uh, that that he just brings to the table. And you know, you do too. With with your love amazes me. If I had a nickel for every time somebody asked me to play that song, you know, um, I appreciate that. That's a great song, Chuck Jones and Amanda Hunt Taylor wrote. I was the lucky guy who drew the card to get to sing it, and. Uh, but it's been a powerful song to meant lots a lot of people, and to have a song that so many people have used in such important um, events in their life, like getting married, <laughs> and uh, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to have a song like that used for those, well, those I, purposes. I think that's great. Country for a cause. It's coming up June fifth. Uh, built, of course, benefiting the Children's Hospital up there. Uh, Gus Arendell, another Georgia guy from uh, Springer Mountain Farms, Chicken. Uh, helping put that on. If if folks want to go see that, is that an open show where they can buy tickets and go see it? Drive up there oh, yeah. and go see it? Yeah, too, yeah it, it's selling quickly. And, but yeah, it's a, it, that's a good show, man. It's a lot of fun. And, um, 
I always look for it. I've done it a couple of times over. I think was this is the ninth year doing it. I think, and uh, so it's always a lot of fun. And um, uh, T.G. Shepherd's involved with that, and Kelly Lang, and Kelly Lang, and yeah, we had we've yeah. had uh, we've had his his lovely wife on the show. We have not had we have not had the man T.G. himself come on. Yeah, uh, but uh, sing the last cheaters waltz and all that great stuff. What a what a what a stalwart performer right there. Man, when when he starts singing, the hits never stop. <laughs> well, you we certainly I mean? played it's a bunch of them they, back there. I can tell they you, they just keep coming. <laughs> well, I love it. Keep coming, keep coming. Thirty it's years. Awesome. He's he's such a terrific guy. Well, uh, we think the world of you, and we just appreciate you coming on uh, and talking this. You know about about your your big anniversary 30, 30 years, and of course we we hope we have a whole lot more of that left. Um, I wanted to ask you about Christmas though, before we cut you loose, because it, yeah, it's going to be here. It's already getting hot, which I just keep telling myself, you know, even though I'm out there mowing the pasture now and going to have to do all, the, the cool weather's coming and John Barry's coming back to sing about it. And, uh, Come on, man. the Christmas, <laughs> the big Christmas yeah. concert, something that, that I, it's going to be before long. It's going to be John Barry and Vince Gill. And that's going to be all it is for Christmas because that, that's who I think of. And Amy Grant, I guess. But uh, now, you know, don't think about them. Just just think about me. OK, I will. That's well, they've never been on the show I and mean, they're not from Georgia. So there you go. As far this as I know, 20, I, this will be our 28th year doing the tour. Fantastic. 28 years. I, was, I think we're doing 24 cities this year. We're packing them in this year. So all right. Uh, so between Thanksgiving and Christmas and it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, we're real excited about it. And and um, um, it, it, it's pretty cool. It's. It's so we're, we're we're real excited about getting to do this tour again, and, and just just God's blessed us using it, and and uh, it's just been hope folks will come out and see us. Those of you folks who've not come to see the show before, it's very faith oriented, uh, focus on and we we love Santa and we love all that part. Of, we love all those aspects of Christmas, but our main focus of it is being the birth of Christ. So. Amen. Well, that's the, you know, hey, that's the the whole reason for it, right there. So reason for the season, as I say. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing that and uh, the cooler weather. But but hey, country with the cause, go see John Barry June fifth, and uh, be a great be a great time. And of course, uh, t- tell everybody the name of the single. The rich, it's the richest man, correct? The richest man is be the name of the song coming out this spring. So listen for it on all your local stations, and uh, hopefully they'll. They'll spin it. Yeah, well, we'll spin it here, that's for sure, and uh, beat the yeah. beat the streets with it because uh, what a, what a great title. But but more importantly, uh, I think it's I think it's a song that a lot of folks, especially the folks that listen to us who are out there on the tractors right now or working in the the log trucks. We got a guy, one of the one of the radio show hosts here, our good brother Wade. You know, he drives a chicken truck, uh, a not not chicken like. The kind that Gus sells, he he hauls chicken poop, and he always tells me. He said, "You know, my greatest fear is that I'm going to be raptured in this truck someday, <laughs> and I'm going to have to take a shower as soon as I get there." <laughs> but <laughs> he will be cleansed in more than one way. <laughs> hey, well, let's let's hope because boy, I've been to lunch with him when he's driving that thing, and it ain't no fun. I'll tell you right there. But uh, yeah. John, yeah. thanks for coming on and. Uh, and thanks for being a supporter here at Georgia Radio. We sure appreciate you. Man. you. Good, to be, good to be with you, sir. John Barry, everybody. Thanks again, John. Country, that's what I grew up listening to. Georgia Radio. We love you more than peanuts and peaches. So glad you're here.